Today's video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Hi guys, good morning. I had to bring up the chairs. I had to put them in the living room today. I'm not too sure if they're gonna be going in the top living room or the lower living room. They could go in either or. Still figuring out where the furniture pieces are going. But those are my two Monterey Club chairs and I love them. And then to the right is a little bridge lamp that I got at Revival Antiques a while back. It was one of the first things I actually bought when I got the house. I love it, it's so cute. Not sure if it's going there, but it's the only lamp I had. So I just popped it over there. To finish off the painting in here but I actually got some deliveries today that I want to open with you guys the first thing is a DHL package which I don't really remember oh you guys I think I know what this is I think this is actually the brass rail for behind the stove in the kitchen that's gonna be mounted on the marble here's one of the rods now I actually got this custom made to the length that I wanted I don't think this is the right length now I'm wondering if I got the entire wrong order because I didn't order this. Honestly, it's cute. It's a little soap holder. An unlacquered brass soap holder. Yeah, I had this rod. This rod is actually going to be going here, but I had it custom made at 64 inches, so it went all the way to the end. But I think they might have forgotten to make it longer. So I'm going to see if maybe they can just send me another piece to attach. And then I'm able to add hooks on there and put pots and pans or, you know, utensils, whatever I want to add onto the little rack. I'm gonna have to go ahead and email them to see if I can get the additional piece, but that wasn't our only exciting package. This one I have been waiting for. It's actually been downstairs for like a week, but I've just been so busy with the kitchen. I haven't gotten around to using these yet, but these are the custom mullions that I had made for my windows. Now you guys saw the whole process of me restoring the windows, brought back the original wood, and then painted the interior like a dark brown. Now I had these mullions made, which actually are going to give the look of like panes within the window. And I had these custom made on Etsy. And I'm freaking excited to see these. <laughs> oh, this is, oh my god! Ah, oops. This is a mullion. So what is inside here? You can actually get them with a frame where you pop the whole thing in the window. It kind of has a frame on it. But I wanted them frameless so that a majority of the window showed. There's too much frame on the window already. They're really thick, actually, like high quality. I thought they were gonna be super, super thin. Um, but these are like probably a quarter inch thick, maybe even three eighths inch. And I'm hoping I measured my windows right. <gasps> oh, I measured my windows right, you guys. They fit perfectly. Let's see. Oh my, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly, exactly how I wanted the windows to look. I actually did this uh, custom grid. I did a two by four. And I'm gonna actually paint these the same exact color with a spray paint, so simply just spray paint them. I'm not sure how to attach them to the window, though. I'm also realizing they're gonna be brown from the outside. Am I supposed to paint the back of them white? Last month I installed the Simply Safe security system in my new home, but as a lot of you guys know if you've been around on the channel for a while, I actually had one of these in my apartment for about two and a half years, and I just love my Simply Safe home security system. And if you are in the market for one, or even if you are not, honestly, you should take advantage of the amazing offer they have right now because they're offering you guys up to 40% off any new system orders, which is absolutely crazy. That's a huge discount, which we love, of course. And I will also say that this system is so extremely easy to integrate 
in your home. It's actually shipped in a box directly to your doorstep, so there's no need to go out and get it, which is really convenient. And I will say that the setup of the system takes you an hour. It is so simple and easy, and they have entry sensors for everything, or sensors and monitors for everything, including like your doors and windows, temperature sensors, HD cameras, both indoor and outdoor. There's motion sensors everything. They got you covered, you guys. And we also have to take a moment for how incredibly designed Simply Safe is. I feel like a lot of home security systems are an eyesore when you walk into people's houses, so I love how Simply Safe just seamlessly blends into your home's design, whether it be eclectic, modern, mid-century, whatever it is, Simply Safe, I swear to you, it fits into your design. It's really super seamless and integrates nicely. And being fully transparent with you guys, I had a Simply Safe system in my apartment for a little over 2 years, and I never once had to touch that system at all. There was never anything that went out of whack. It was always really, really seamless and nice. I love the app as well. It makes it extremely easy. And you guys also know my love for the key fob, which makes it extremely easy to go in and out. So I definitely do say take advantage of Simply Safe's incredible offer that they're currently having because you can get up to 40% off of a new home security system. So click my link in the description box below if you'd like to find out more. Because there's really no safe like Simply Safe. Um, my paint tray looks like that. When it came to painting the backsides of the mullions, my windows on the exterior are actually framed out in white, so I knew I wanted to make these look white from the outside as well, so I painted them really lightly with a dense foam brush and a light amount of paint on my roller just to make sure that the white only stayed on the one side. Our first coat of paint is on the mullions and I just let that dry. I'm going to go back in with another really light layer of paint over top. I might need to build these layers up, but it's gonna give us the cleanest finish in the end. I actually feel like I did a pretty good job painting those. Just did two light coats of paint over the top and it's really, really nice. And as you can see, it's just right on the top layer. So we didn't want it to get on the edge there. For mounting these on my windows, I'm actually going to be using these Gorilla mounting tape pieces. Um, you can also see how that says Gorilla on it. I'm gonna cut pieces around and just put them on the edges. I added little bits of the tape to the ends and the tops. So just all of these little end sections at the bottom. I'm not gonna put them in the middle. I don't think it needs it at all. Ah, it looks so good. It looks perfect. I absolutely love it. We have our mullions installed and they look amazing. Now I do still need to finish up this window. I have just been procrastinating it. I'm not gonna lie, like they were a lot of work. Um, but at the moment, Katie from Tough Skin is coming over to wrap my marble. There were a lot of comments here on YouTube, but primarily on TikTok when I actually shared the new marble countertops saying they were the worst choice. They're gonna be stained. It's gonna be an awful situation. They're just actually a couple minutes away and I'll share everything with you guys. <laughs> you guys, we have Katie and Yay! Kyle here from Tough Skin. <laughs> And I'm so excited. Here's Kyle back here. And we are going to be wrapping all of this marble because one of the things that a lot of people said in my video is like, this is going to get ruined. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we have a solution for you and we're super excited to make it more practical and say no to those naysayers. I know, right? Marble all the way. I know. I'm Absolutely. so excited. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what tough skin is and this piece of marble here actually has a coating of tough skin on it. And maybe you guys can just give a little explanation. Exactly. So marble is a difficult material to maintain because when you spill something on it, it soaks in and it changes it over time. Our product is a unique approach to sealing because we utilize film to create an invisible barrier. So lemon, coffee, red wine, spill. It's like wrapping, have like a, wrapping a car. Exactly. Have yeah. fun, make a mess. Tough skin's gonna keep it clean. It's actually like a honed finish. It's a satin finish. Exactly. Which is gonna give us that honed look of what the marble currently looks like. But there's going to be a protective barrier in between the marble and whatever spills on it. Mm -hmm. So red wine, like really anything. Literally anything. Uh, yeah. yeah, like I'm telling you. You just don't want to like that. torch it. 
with a torch. We probably don't <laughs> want to torch it, no. Or take a knife to it. Yeah. But other than that, total freedom. It's perfect. Yeah. Cleaning the counters really well. else I want to share with you guys too is look at how vibrant the color is as they cleaned it because it's a little wet and she mentioned that it might actually look like this after we apply it because when you look at the color up here a little less vibrant have a piece on guys look how pretty I feel like it enhanced the color too it looks really nice Yay. here's some coffee here's my countertop we're gonna let that sit for two hours. The coffee would have etched the raw stone in about a minute, if, yeah. if not less. If you kept recording and it was on that countertop, that would be stained by the end of it. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and you can see how it's beating up on the counter. Yeah. Like it's not soaking in, it's just sitting right on top. Yeah, like because of the exactly. barrier. So this for is a sure. non porous surface. Mm -hmm. the, the coffee's just sitting right on top. So Tough Skin is a woman owned family business. My dad actually invented the product about 15 years ago, and we've been serving the Los Angeles community for about the last six making stone more practical, making marble more user friendly and beautiful on an everyday basis. I had a little sample of some marble as well, so I put some of the coffee on. This has been sitting here for about an hour, so let's wipe off of both surfaces. Here's our unprotected marble. So yeah, you can, yeah, see. You can see the stain on there. There's a big, like a brown one there. I mean, there even was one right over here-ish as well, right there. And that's just gonna build up over time, guys. Like anything you spill, that's one little spill, you know? And then our tough skin just comes right off. Good morning, you guys. It's actually been probably like five or six days since I have last been here. I've been working on that family's home. If you guys remember a couple videos back, I actually shared that I was doing a full home makeover. Well, yes, that's happening simultaneously with my house makeover. And I am doing a majority of it myself because I'm crazy. And that's just, I have to be at the forefront of every single project I do, or I just don't want to take it on. Like everything I do, I have to do like 80% of it, or it's just not, is anyone else like that? I've been simultaneously going back and forth between their house and my house and oh my gosh that little series is coming out on the channel shortly but today we are going to be painting the interiors of the window so as you guys know I trimmed it out in the wood which I got from the trim shop now on the interiors of the windows I'm actually going to be painting those that same matte coffee bean color that I painted the interiors of the living room windows so I'm going to be doing the same exact process to these windows the first thing I want to do though is clean them up a little bit they are a bit dingy from all the other work that's been happening in here Windows are all prepped, and for the primer, I'm gonna be using the Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. This is my personal favorite primer for just any metal painting because it actually etches into the metal, and it's a high heat primer, so it's great for windows. So I'm gonna do a coat of this, then we can add the paint. I just started painting and realized I didn't even tape off the actual window, so let me do that quickly. Primer coat is on. Now it's time for our matte coffee bean spray paint. Oh! 
Wow! Guys! It looks so good! I am so happy. I was scared. I really was. Wow! I just love this window color. It's such a great color. Came back over to see how the windows look this morning and wow really nice you guys i just really want to see them without this kind of like excess you know stain on the wall so once we get a nice even coat on the wall i think it's going to make everything look so pretty but something else we also need to add which is going to complete the look of these windows is the mullions because as you guys saw in the living room when i added the mullions it completely changed the look of the windows like it really does and in the kitchen area i thought it could be fun to do a different style of mullion than the one i did in the other space because out these windows there's virtually nothing like it's just the neighbor's house so the mullion design that i'm thinking about actually using on these windows is a diamond mullion shape which is very common in spanish style homes tudor homes um, you see it a lot in Los Angeles actually and I love the use of when they do different types of window painting in homes So, you know, you'll see like some accent diamond windows Then you'll see some traditional kind of paned windows and in the kitchen area I thought it would be nice just to add a bit more detail and almost give us a nice little base for our lights to sit in front of With the diamond mullion. So these are the ones that I'm thinking I'm going to be ordering I have a feeling these are gonna look really really nice here If not, I could always do just more of a traditional style, but I'm really thinking the diamonds are gonna Gonna, are gonna be it. So I'm currently waiting for Omar's team who did the marble to actually come back over. Today they're going to be templating for the top here. So as you guys know, I did the countertop and backsplash in the marble that I selected. And then when I went to paint, I actually ended up removing the doors on these uppers and turning them into open shelving. So I'm gonna have the marble actually flow into the back all the way up to almost extend this into more of a hutch looking piece, which I think is gonna look really nice. It's gonna be built in. You see how nice and centered that looks? So imagine once I pull the marble all the way up, so it goes all the way up and then you have shelving, but the backing of your shelving is just this really beautiful marble with veining. I think it's gonna look really nice. team just left they templated up these top sections here and it's going to start being cut while I'm actually away working on the house for the giveaway winner I'm starting that tomorrow you guys like it has been so hectic around here but in the best way possible like it is so much fun for me I love staying busy so having like back to back to back things is, is me it really is me the hardware for the kitchen has shipped you guys which I am so excited to see what that hardware looks like it is unlacquered brass and I just think it's going to pop on these dark brown cabinets really one of the last steps for the kitchen is figuring out the flooring I still don't know what flooring I want to do I just don't know what direction I want to go with in the floor because it could lean in so many directions and whichever direction I go in really takes the kitchen that way you know so I'm gonna pop up a couple options for you guys let me know what your personal favorite is in the comment section below it takes a little while to get here so i want to get flooring on order of course but i hope that you guys enjoyed this one i know that we just painted windows and wrapped some marble um but i mean pretty good progress and i mean i couldn't be happier um i'm actually working on some instagram content over in the living room you guys so fun walking through the house some walls are painted some walls are not painted but you know what hopefully in the next couple of videos we can get the living room color kind of locked in and then hopefully some flooring in the kitchen as well but i will catch you guys in my next one look at this window it is so pretty uh before heading out guys i did want to just quickly mention that if you are in the market for a home security system definitely check out simply safe or if you know somebody that needs one as a holiday gift or you want to get someone one as a holiday gift right now is a great time because it's up to 40 percent off the system so take advantage use my link at the top of the description box and i will catch you guys in the next one bye